Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, so it is Sunday. Let's unpack everything that has been going on. Where are we at right now? When is this volume coming? And what can we expect as we find the Bitcoin at the moment traveling at around 61,000? We've got XRP at $1.13.7 at the moment, 0.24% uh, down for the day. We saw a slight increase last night, uh, you know, it touched $1.18 and everybody started to get a little bit excited. But patience is our biggest weapon as XRP holders. And patience we need because there is some news today that I will be sharing with you, which let's just say it's not pleasant, but it's important to unpack it and to understand what the opportunities are. Let's have a look at what Mon Monthly Fool has said first, right? So the cryptocurrency is up more than 400% to date but he's facing some key challenges right now. We know that, right? So XRP created by Ripple is a cryptocurrency that provides liquidity for cross-border transactions. The token is up 400% for the year. We must remember that. And the SEC is suing Ripple for raising over 1.3 billion through an unregistered securities offering. Now, what they go on here to unpack is, you know, the the difference, uh, you know, like how XRP is, is built and, and what are the main features of it. And, and then they go on to talk about, you know, like how this case is going on at the moment with the SEC. But really not too much, you know, to, uh, to unpack from this. But it's good to see that they are mentioning it to their, um, to their suppliers and to their customers. And that ultimately is good news, right? As more and more people find out about it. Because you might, you know, because we are so involved, you think everybody knows about it, right? But only 12% of the world is actually involved in cryptocurrency. Never forget that, right? We are very, 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 very early. Now, Crown Wisdom said XRP price prediction and forecast. XRP up 3%, close to $1.15 now. Yeah, it was, right? I mean, it really was. And we were up, and like I said, we were up at $1.18 and thinking, okay, it's um, it's going to go up. But see, they're saying that it's a buy signal right now. And they're saying that because of obviously the, uh, from a technical perspective of where we're at right now, they're also saying from the inverted head and shoulders on the four hour and from an RSI perspective as well. So it's good to see other analysts to talk about it and, and, and give predictions. They talk about, you know, where, where is it going right now? What are, the, what are the opportunities? And ultimately, where can it go from here? And so the price predictions that they're giving, you know, is a little bit different to, to the serpent, but it's good, right? Everyone has different opinions and different perspectives and different ways of seeing things, right? And it's really, really important and valuable you as the researcher as the person who is responsible for your account to listen to everyone and then come up with your own uh, objectives and your own goals for your portfolio and what your entry points are and what your exit points are, right? No one can do that for you. What I do 10 to 12 minutes is explain to you what I've found throughout the day, which may, gives me my posture in regards to the things that I hold. But ultimately it is my responsibility for my account and it's your responsibility for your account to make sure that you're doing the right thing by it. Now, as we move forward, when we do look at this, right, ex lawsuit, right, so the SEC six extension, a rebuttal report, discovery deadline. Now, I don't know what the audacity is here, but they have gone and said they want an extension. They want another deadline. The January 14th deposition, that, like, they want more time. They want to go, they want, the regulars have also appealed to push the discovery deadline to 14th of January. I mean, what? They've had years. They've had years, right? And you are still delaying the inevitable. What is the hidden agenda here? I mean, it is beyond ridiculous, right? And if it does get granted, of course, we will cover it off and what it means for the entire bull run prediction of XRP but it's news like this today that unfortunately it is the legal system and, and, and the legal system does move slow and you know, you can find loopholes, right? And loopholes are one of those is, you know, ex getting extensions and wanting extensions and trying to get more extensions. Now, will they be granted the, the, the um, extension or will they not be granted the extension? That there is a very very, very, very important aspect. And if they do, we'll cover it off and we'll, we'll go over what that means, how to unpack it, where do we go from here, all of that stuff, all of that stuff. It's really, 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 really important that we, uh, we cover these things off and that we talk about it openly, right? Because 
if the, there is an extension to the discovery to the 14th of January, it does change things, okay? It definitely changes things because I don't want you guys to miss out on the bull run where there's gonna be lots of other opportunities out there with many, many different other um, uh, cryptocurrencies. But the value and the mission and what Ripple XRP token is going to be doing has not changed, right? They can push the deadline out, they can push the token out, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to give you my perspective if, you know, it depends on how diversified your portfolio is. I've got 14 different cryptocurrencies in my portfolio. My portfolio, um, can I take a hit and wait for March, for example, for XRP to peak or to begin its bull run? I can. Maybe you can't. And that's why we're going to be talking about it. And I'm going to give you very clear objectives around that if the, that extension is given, right? Because it does change things for, for the bull run. And I'm, I'm the first one that will let you know about that, right? I don't live in a fairy tale world. I don't live in the rainbows. I don't tell you what you want to hear. I will tell you what is right for your portfolio. And ultimately, that's my job. Now, Ripple shifts 33.8 million to Hubi in past two weeks after allocating 100 million XRP for it. This is very, very interesting news, right? So um, data provided by the analytics platform works at XRP transaction over the past 18 days. Ripple distributed ledger tech provided has shifted 33 million um, you know, digital coins to the exchange Hubi. One third of Ripple's 100 million XRP shifted into Hubi, right? So this is pretty this is pretty significant, right? That, that is a, a whopping amount, like 100 million XRP. Lump sum to be like that is a lot. So that is a lot, a lot, a lot moving. Now, the exchange has recently announced its withdrawal from mainland China. And by December 31st, it plans to stop crypto trading against CNY. So XRP becomes number one choice for UK you know, investors. We know about that. But the Hubi and that many XRP tokens going in there, we will keep a very, 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 very close eye on that. Now, if, if XRP is deemed a security, XLM is also in trouble as well. XLM may get in trouble if XRP deems a security. Other cryptocurrencies might be deemed securities, right? It is bigger than just XRP, this case. And I hope, you know, obviously for the entire industry that it doesn't, it does not get to that. It shouldn't get to that. There's no reason why it should get to that. But we got to talk about this stuff, right? Because there's always, always a slight chance. And we'll talk about prices today and we'll talk about the pricing and where we're going and how it's going to be going. Now, when we look at, you know, the moving average 200, we can see very similar patterns are forming here compared to when we like last did a massive rally and similar pattern is forming here now, getting ready for that takeoff. So it is getting set for a major, major, major run. And on the weekly, you know, we are very, very, very close to the end of this triangle. At the end of the triangle, we go up or we go down. Of course, by the strong sentiment that we have at the moment, we are going to be going up. But again, it's not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor, but this is what we're waiting for now. Very patiently waiting for this before we begin the journey towards uh, uh, breaking all-time high and then breaking the, the double digits, which is obviously, you know, something that we are all, as XRP Army community holders, are so, 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 so looking for. Let's jump into a time. Let's have a look at some indicators. As we begin to look at the charts, we're looking in particular on the daily right now. We're looking at $1.1355. And as we can see here from a volume perspective and the MACD perspective, we can see that, you know, it is bullish and it is sitting, you know, in a very nice zone for, from an RSI perspective. When we look at the hourly, as I mentioned, right, we, we had this spike and we had this spike that drove us all the way to $1.18 and everybody started to get really, 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 really excited about that. And when we saw that, we're like, wow, this is pretty cool. But as soon as we did that, it touched down and it went down, you know, from a moving average perspective. But it went even further than that. But now we're always seeing, you know, above the moving average 100. Uh, and the moving average 100 is very, very important. You know, it almost touched it, but it didn't quite get there. And sitting well, well within the inside the Bollage event. So it's, it's respecting those levels really, really nicely. When we look from a four hour perspective, we can see where we're at right now. And there are two moving averages, which are very, very, very close to each other. Right? This is very critical, very important aspect. But the four hour has turned bearish for, for the time being. When we look at the 12 hour, the 12 hour is still bearish, but just, just bearish. But from a, a one day perspective, you know, it is bullish. Now we know Sunday, Monday are typical, typical days where you know, the, the market does go down a little bit. So I am expecting the market to, to go down over the next 12, 24 hours before we kick off again towards the end of Monday um, in Australia and we go off uh, um, into you know, reaching those zones. But we are above the 110. We do, we are just patiently waiting for that volume to kick in. Once the volume kicks in, then we will be, you know, starting to break, but literally a, a ticking time bomb as um, uh, as you saw from the time now, right? It's a ticking time bomb, this, this bull run. 
Now, when we look at the back, right, when we look back in 2017 and we look at the correlation between what's happened in 2017 and what's happening now, I can see here, like, which looks very, very similar to that, right? And, you know, you know, the past doesn't always, uh, always, you know, dictate the future, but it does sometimes does leave clues. And so we're looking at everything. We're looking at everything that is going on. And, when, and I'm looking at this and I'm looking at 2017. I'm looking at 2021. And yes, we are at the beginning, at the beginning of, um, of, a, of a massive run for XRP. It's just that little final patience that we're all having to wait. And then, as I mentioned yesterday, you know, we break out, we touch base again, we consolidate above it, and then we go off into, into 141 territory. But joining out and zooming out and looking at, you know, like the, the bigger picture, the bigger picture has not changed, right? Going to double digits, all of that, it's still all very, very, very relevant. But breaking out of this, is now number one priority. Break out of that, and we start to move towards two dollars very, very quickly, and then um, a little consolidation at two twenty, and then we go towards uh, four three eighty and above. So very, very, very nice. Now, are we going to see a all-time high broken before the end of October? I'm still bullish on that idea. I've not seen anything that gives me the um, the sentiment that that's not going to be that's not going to be happening. And of course, this delay potential of the case, right? Breaking the previous all-time high has got nothing to do with the SEC. XRP will break its previous all-time high, SEC or no SEC, because SEC is America and XRP is the world, and the world does accept XRP. And as we move, zoom out and move forward into 2022, 2023, there will be so much to cover off, so many amazing things coming along the way. But if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you, and I look forward to see you on the next one.